Hi. So being candid and celebrating failures are some of the important things that effective leaders do. When someone in your team doesn't perform well or doesn't meet your expectation, it's really good for them if they receive prompt feedback that is candid. Providing candid feedback as leaders is very critical. It helps your team to grow. One of the tips to remember when you're providing feedback is be very harsh on the action and not on the person. So when you are harsh on the action, on certain requirement that was not done, and you're very candid about it, you're saying how terrible that um, performance on that project was or how bad that we lost so many members because of this side issue it's good you are attacking the action and not the person and you are candid you're not praising them so that they get enough time to uh, think that they're doing well you're candid you are telling them what the reality is but if you make up and if you praise them unnecessarily, they may just not improve. So providing candid feedback promptly on time is very important because now all of a sudden they get opportunity to improve. They get to improve their actions. They get a chance to prove that they are doing quite well over time. So providing candid feedback and being candid as a leader is very important. Also, there are two biases that we need to be aware of the omission bias and loss aversion bias so it's very hard when you're let's say losing something in stock markets to to book losses because it's it's easy to avoid the losses it's hard sorry it's very hard for you to book losses so when there is a failure in the team we need to be aware of this bias in our mind it's okay. Failures are learnings. Even if there are losses, it's okay. We've learned something from it. We should celebrate failures as a learning opportunity within the team. This encourages your team member to take chances, to grow. So there needs to be calculated risks taken here, but it's important that you encourage failure. You encourage the opportunity to, to learn and second, omission bias. Non-action is considered less of an evil compared to an action done where you fail. So that's a bias. It's easy to say, I didn't even try, versus you tried and you failed. That's bad. So need to be aware of these two biases and encourage your team to take chances by taking action not omitting actions and by celebrating failures by taking chances trying out new things it's only when we fail that we learn and so it's very important for leaders to be aware of these two biases and to encourage the team to always act take chances and learn from it thanks